Okay, Shugyo. It's a uh, particularly Japanese concept from the uh, Buddhist traditions that says that all life is training. Life and your, your practice and has a sense of going inward, like you're on the spiritual path, very much in the, the arts of Japan, but actually kind of in their culture everywhere. So you can see up here on the left-hand side, the normal way of uh, doing is uh, up more better get get as you gain skills but shugyo idea is more of a going inside so you're reaching for something internally kind of like i best way to say it is like a mastery instead of uh, uh success that's kind of the idea so internal focus so i got into this because big tragedy when i was six years old my dad committed suicide and my mom put me in the care of this gentleman dr nakazono and i learned aikido from him japanese martial art and medicine also which I still practice today, so very good fortunate. And him and his son, Katsuharu, absolutely beautiful human beings and really special guys, and I learned those two arts from them. And I could always feel about them that they had something special, just a certain something, and I guess as an 18-year-old kid, it was like, badassness, and I want that. But actually, it's a mastery that I was after as a young man, so I didn't have a father, so at one point they introduced me to mr chiba who they said this is mr chiba he teaches budo budo warrior path doesn't mean fighting it means victory over the enemy within that's classical understanding but they said it's a hard path and i'm like hard path sign me up you know <laughs> so that being the age that i was so before i left <coughs> excuse me i went to see my teachers and i said you know for advice and they said well aikido every day that you do it to get better, you lose something. What do you lose? You lose some ego. So what does that mean? That there's less of you there, and there's more of the art comes through purely. That's kind of the idea of it. So I could feel that in their presence made sense to me. So I went to Japan, and I was, uh, I'm sorry, I went to San Diego, and I was an apprentice with Mr. Chiba. Simple tools, so Zafu and a couple weapons. He taught me nothing about martial arts, just screamed and yelled constantly about cleaning the dishes right, putting the shoes in order, all little stupid shit that I didn't really care about. But And then also he let us practice and threw us around a lot, there it is. And because uh, you learn Aikido, man to man, heart to heart, so but very unintellectual process, more of a body thing basically. So that went on for several years. And uh, I ended up going to Japan to apprentice at the World Headquarters Dojo with the son, the grandson of the founder Aikido. And when I was there, I met my buddy Sugawara, who was older than me. And I said, hey, Mr. Sugawara, uh, were you Uchideshi, which is training? And he goes, oh, I was the worst Uchideshi. And I'm, worst? Wow, he must have messed up really bad. Damn, what did he do? Come to find out, beautiful guy, great teacher. But a Japanese thing, keep your ego small, but your heart big. So. Kimochi no chikara, feeling, and the feeling is in the martial arts, not the body strength, the energy, the, of your energy, your feeling. So Chiba only one the time told me something about martial arts, so I wrote it down, this picture. Over here, a little obscure, needs me to be more focused over there, that was the concept. So anyway, I was, I was there, I met Mr. Arikawa, who is a really famous teacher and a really eccentric guy. He used to come in every day, he'd tear up pieces of paper, sit there, one after the other for a half hour, finally asked my roommate, I said, why does he do that? And he said, oh, no one knows, and uh, we cannot ask. So that was Japan for you. Ah, tea ceremony, yeah, there we go. Uh, they call me Mr. T, but anyway, in the, in the old days, the samurai, before they go into battle, they have a tea ceremony to focus their concentration. Every little motion of the teacup, like that, gives them that focus. So when I was there, I did this. It was fantastic. Not to go into battle, but the tea ceremony. So uh, they have a saying in Japan, even if you sit on a rock for three years, if you're sincere, it's going to be something good. So sincerity is everything. Martial arts, three techniques to get to black belt. That's all you need. Sushi Chef Apprentice, they have you wash dishes just for a year, doing nothing else till your ego kind of goes down. The art starts to come through. That's kind of the idea. We all know this one, journey, thousand steps, single mile, whatever. Anyway, uh, I, the usual cut translation is to get up a hill, take a walk. No, 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 no. I don't think so. From the place that I came from, it means every single step is complete. The first step, the last step, that one step is the completion. That's my understanding of it. So this was a Misogi exercise. We did scroll on the wall. It says, die here, be reborn. Very severe. Everything yelling at you all the time and cleaning the floors faster and every little tiny thing. I made the big rookie mistake. I spilled tea all over the floor. I thought they were going to kill me. They didn't kill me. They just laughed about it. 
You train hard on the little stuff that doesn't seem to matter. The big stuff doesn't matter. So, Shukyo is a beautiful concept. I really love it because it says, it's not about winning, it's not about losing, it's not about success, it's not about failure. There's no failure. Every step, every moment, that's your path, that's complete, that's beautiful. Oh, I love the humanisticness of it. Therefore, I want to give you a little bit from the culture of that that I came through to practice is traditional zazen. So they say, if you, uh, the Zen masters always say, if you can do 10 breaths and focus on them, you can come be the master, I'll be the students. We're not going to do that. We're just going to do three. So go ahead and sit up. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And relax. Okay. And touch this part and put your hand here under your lower abdomen. Yeah. And this is called your hara, your tanda, and your center, okay? The center of your spiritual self and physical, anatomical center of gravity. Where you die every breath, so as you exhale, exhaling, this center shrinks in, okay? Inhaling, center fills up, okay? Put your eyes about three feet in front of you, but don't stare at the ground. They call ten direction eyes, eyes all around you that see everything but attach to nothing. Okay, and exhale. In there. Exhale. In there. Exhale. Thank you.